will um, start now in our motivational talk segment, and we have our um, certified life coach here with us in the studio, Mr. Benja Demukili. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, well, Benja, 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 Benja. This is 2015, and uh, yeah. your Afro is speaking yeah, 19, so 1915. Old school. <laughs> 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 old school <laughs> 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 Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, only that um, what happened over the weekend inspired me to quickly put mm. one or two three things together and uh, alert our people at home mm -hmm. uh, this Monday uh, and this week. And um, by Saturday, Sunday, we are in next, I mean, the other month again. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I remember how many weeks ago we started July. And this is August coming in. Um, I just want to share with us overcome, how to overcome negative situations. They're all around us. I'm telling you. At home, on the street, I'm the workplace, every day. everywhere. Every day. You, you listen to news in negative. You listen to, you watch this in negative, you know. But uh, we want to thank everybody TV for giving opportunity for programs like this. This is positive situation. Mm. You know, if there's no way you listen to us every Monday morning and your week will not be productive, I, I, I can assure you that. So, um, number one thing is we need to recognize that there are negative situations around us recognize it. Uh, but let me quickly say that uh, negative situations can never come to you with that negative thought. You have to think it from there just to be that. Even when it's happening around you, if you don't think and dwell about it or on it, mm. it will not affect you. So invariably, you could actually be in a situation where there is negative, but if you don't really think about it, it will not be an issue for you. Or how? Just think. It has happened several I times. I don't understand either. Yeah. It has happened several times that I will see negative situations around me, negative things happen to people around me, and I'll be the only person, so okay. to speak, flourishing. Is it not a bit of denial or something? It's not about denial. You recognize that, yes, there is a situation that is negative, that is bad, mm. but you don't allow it to get into you. Oh, okay. You, okay. you, you create a, a, a barrier, you create a fence, like a dam. You know, what you, you, have, you, have you been to dam before? Any of the dams? Yeah. They are it's <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 <laughs> you see, there, there, are, there are some forms of brick, strong mm. walls, brick walls that will be mounted up to go to stop yeah, that okay. inflow of that water. Mm. Same thing here. So your mind, That's your mind, your yeah. mind is that wall. Don't forget that you are a spirit, and you have your soul living yeah, in the body. body. Now, under your soul is the mind. That is the mind, that is the willpower, and that is the emotion. So your mind is the, your soul is the processing unit of your computer. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So that mind needs to be guided dil diligently. Do you understand? The reason why your body even misbehaves is because your mind has misbehaved already prior to the time your body misbehaved. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So when these things happen, you recognize that, okay, negative thought patterns are repetitive and unproductive. You will know that this is the line of this particular, exactly in your, maybe in your house, <laughs> and uh, there is a particular neighbor who normally do a one nasty or annoying thing, and it has been reoccurring. Then it, you allow it to get to you. You know, the man says, Baba, Lamotano, what's wrong with this Baba Akadi? You understand that kind of thing. So you allow it to get into you. So it, uh, it has affected your psyche already. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there is a way uh, around it that you can do. Now, once you learn to recognize and identify those thoughts as they occur, all what you need to do is you discounted the anxious thoughts and worries. For example, my life has been full of terrible misfortunes, most of which happened, and most of which never happened. My life has been full of terrible and negative one. But you will you, 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 you be surprised that if you don't recognize that terrible act, it, it will happen. It is when you give it recognition it that it happens. Now, stress related to your financial future, the welfare of your children and your partner leaving you fit into this category. Another thing is criticism and self beating self guilt You are dwelling on the past. Oh, ah, if I have not done this, this wouldn't have happened. If I have done this, I wouldn't be here today. No. There is every possibility that even if you have done time spent of that thing 10 years ago, you may still be here. 
because you are not applying the force that will catapult you from that platform to the next platform that you are looking. And, and you see, you see many people who are actually being in your shoes in the, in the time pass, and they are not on your platform today. So, what is the difference? Are you engaging the information they are engaging? Are you doing what they are doing? Do you have friends that they have? I mean, evil works with the wise shall be wise, but the companions of fools shall be destroyed. Show me your friends, and I will tell you how far you can go. See, the meaning of friends means people that determine your end. To the end. <laughs> Regret, yeah, regret and guilt, ruminating on mistakes made, uh, made in the past, creates negativity. See, you are human beings. You are not. You are not. You are not an angel. That mistake has been made. Oh, because you 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 had you had a child or baby outside wedlock, and so what? Does that mean that's the end of your life? No. Oh, you stole some some time ago. And uh, you went to prison and you were released and say so you are ex-convict. Hey, Mandela became president after prison. Eh? The same thing, so we shall go back and go. We have them. Eh? So it does not matter what has happened to you in the time past. Never dwell on the past. It will affect your present. And it will not allow you to plan for your future. Now, P2, disidentified from negative thinking. You have, an, you have recognized that. You have identified the pattern. Number two, now disidentified. How do you do that? People trapped in negative thinking often feel hopeless because they don't know what to do. You can't always uh, not think of things, yeah. But you know what? In order to become free of negative uh, of negativity, you must become more aware of your thoughts. Start to pay more attention to what is going on in your mind. Immediately that thing comes. You know what? Drop it out. Don't even give it one second or two seconds of 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 thought. Don't allow it. Instead of that, oh, yeah, oh, oh, what happened to this? My blue shirt is this. Immediately begin to think positively. You have control over your mind. Just think, you have control over your mind. Don't allow any situation, any Boko Haram that is bumping somewhere, any jam. You see, I, I really pity these students, this our present um, jambite, these people that just finished their jam. Some university says they will not sell for jam form to anyone who scores below 250. And the next thing, I saw some parents at the gate of a particular school protesting. Parents, not students, not the, not the, not the students who wrote the jam. Now, the parents, you can imagine, you can imagine the emotional torture, you can imagine the financial calculation they have made. Because they told them that they should not take them to private universities where they are paying half a million. Maybe they have a budget of maybe fifty to hundred thousand naira per semester. So it has it has it has it has wounded them emotionally. So they have to go to the gate of that school to be protesting. So what do you do? That is not the only school in the country. That's number one. Number two, may I say this categorically and clearly to our students? It does not matter because you see, if you don't have ability to study medicine, you want to study now. You have ability and resources to study something else that will lead you to medicine. Stay at home is not the solution. Friends, there are so many institutes, there are so many schools, there are no universities that you can start, spend your two years, three years, and at the end of the day, they give you admission for direct entry to go and finish. So saying that you want to write another jam next year, I'm not saying you shouldn't do that, you can write, but you cannot stay at home. Stay at home will depress you the more. Except you have something else that you are doing that is product, more productive. Or maybe you are working somewhere, or maybe you are doing a part time program somewhere. That's another solution. But sitting at home, eating some food and drinking some drink of your parents will not help you. Key three, I have just four keys here. Key three, mindfulness of the moment. Mindfulness of the moment. When we in negative thinking, we tend to be so engrossed in thought that we completely lose touch with the simple beauty and liveliness of the present moment. Once you are thinking about negativity, it, it clouds, it, 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 it beclouds your mind, yeah. your whole, the entire you. Yeah, you can't see beyond. You can't see. In fact, they are telling you that, oh, 
Then I've come to 100 men. You are still the spirit of God. You are still the spirit of God. You are still the spirit of God. They are telling you that oh, um, power has increased in their, their delivery in their service. You are still thinking of how you will raise money to come back to the that's it. Just in the I am talking to you. It just went to a point whereby I have about four kids that I will feel one or two for generator. It has become part of me. I have been programmed by Nepa <laughs> to do that. <laughs> I'm telling you. So even when there is fuel, even when I have a daughter, and I'm, 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 now I have. 15, 16, 18 hours, I'm still used to buy extra fuel. You understand? It's a mind thing. We have been programmed like that to do this because I, uh, you are aware of your present environment. Whether you are in your home, at the office, in the park, on the, I mean, on the road, wherever, notice everything around you. Use your senses to their fullest. Don't take anything negative. You can just identify it, recognize it. By that, you are not living in denial, but immediately you switch over. Mm-hmm. You switch over. And the last piece is choosing constructive thinking rather than destructive thinking. Mm-hmm. That's why I say you, you have the power over your mind to choose. Mm-hmm. Now that you have developed some inner awareness, you can deliberately choose to change thinking so it is constructive rather than destructive. Mm-hmm. Positive or constructive thoughts help you effectively face your day to day situation. Dwelling or ruminating on the path uh, of your problem will not help you at all. And lastly, worrying will only cause grief and anxiety, but there may be some constructive action. For example, you say, oh, my, let me give you an example. You have a beautiful wife, beautiful children that are very, very sharp and intelligent in school, but your car is giving you problems. If care is not taken, you will allow that, prob- that problematic car to affect your beautiful wife and your intelligent children. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? Concentrate on the beauty of your wife and the intelligence of your children and believe that one day the car will be fixed. Mm-hmm. Than using yeah. that problematic car to be hitting your wife and your children. No bad for. No bad for. <laughs> 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 right, thank you, thank you guys for joining us again today. Yeah. So those are tips. To ensure that you overcome challenges around you. Challenges are bound and you can't mm-hmm. rule them out. Yeah, you can. But the thing is that how you tackle them and how your mindset towards these challenges. Mm-hmm. Thank you again. Thank very, you. very apt discussion this morning.